Okay, I'm going to fit this today. It's a new bilge pump. It's um, 750 gallons per hour pump. It's quite a um, substantial pump. And the one I've got on there at the moment is just an off and on pump. This one's actually going to be an automated one. So if I'm not at the boat and water starts leaking in from somewhere, then this one will pump it out automatically. I've taken the bottom out, it pops out and I'm going to then put that screw it to the hole and then the pump can be lifted in and out for cleaning. This blue part of the bilge pump, the tray, I put two screws in, uh, substantial screws and it's bolted into onto the bilge, the bottom of the bilge. They're about that deep screws into the hole. So now this slots on and can be taken off for cleaning. Just clips in like that. I've kept the old Jubilee clip after a bit of a clean. There's nothing wrong with it. Bit of surface rust. Um, so it's down there now, sat on. And now I've just got to wire it. Okay, now I'm going to wire the bilge pump. There's three wires come out of this bilge pump. So you can see there's two brown and one black. The black is the negative. The um, the one brown, which I'm holding in my hand now, is the manual brown, which goes to the switch. And the other brown, which is down there, that's the for the auto, which goes directly to the battery, obviously via a fuse. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to um, fit the two negative and manual positive to the same fitting that the old bilge pump was in, which was this wire here, which is uh, red and black. But instead of using this, I'm going to use two of these crimping terminals, which I'm then going to tape with uh, insulation tape to keep them waterproof. I've got two thick and different thicknesses of wire here. So what I've done is I've taken the wire, the thinner wire from the bilge pump, doubled it over, and then it'll go into the blue crimping terminal and have more wire to grip onto. And that's the first one done. And that's the second wire crimped. So we'll just uh, turn it on now and see if it works. Press the bilge pump switch now. And that works. A few days ago I wired this bilge pump in and I used tape to um, seal the joins. I've had a rethink on that now. And I'm going to use this stuff instead, which is basically a heat shrink wrap that, that covers it and makes it all watertight. So today I'm going to undo those joins that I've made, put some uh, heat shrink wrap on, redo the joins and then shrink the wrap using a hairdryer. I'm going to start off with a hairdryer, if that doesn't work then I'll use a heat gun to get more heat. put a new connector on this time and here's the, um, the heat shrink sleeve so I'm just going to slide into position ok Here's the results of what I've just done with the heat gun, that's on the lowest heat and as you can see that's quite a neat finish. Okay I've uh, finished this bilge pump now, it's secured to the floor. The positive and negative manual wires have already been attached and now the third wire which goes directly to the battery has got this 5 amp fuse in there in a waterproof housing and it goes through that hole into the battery bay which is in here and 
it's just temporary at the moment but it goes in directly with the battery there. Now I can test it now. There's a facility to test it by just pressing a button on the side of the bilge pump for five seconds and seeing what happens. And as you can see in here, that's working.